Let's delve into the captivating world of an exceptional actress. She was a true talent, leaving a mark on both the big screen and the stage. Have you had the pleasure of witnessing her performances? Perhaps you remember the first time you saw her in a movie or show. What set her apart from others in her time? Share your memories and stories below. She had an incredible ability to bring depth and authenticity to her characters, captivating audiences with her versatility. Do you have any fond memories or personal experiences connected to her work? We'd love to hear your tales. Stay tuned as we uncover some interesting facts about this remarkable actress. Keep watching for more insights. In the realm of movies, there was a really talented person who made a big impression. Her work not only entertained people, but also changed how things were done back then. She worked hard at what she did, and it inspired a lot of others. Her influence still matters today, showing how powerful stories can be on the big screen. This person was known for her amazing acting and for taking on roles that were new and different. She was so good at playing all kinds of characters, making them feel real and full of emotion. Her work set a high standard for acting that people still look up to. Whether she was playing a troubled character or a brave one, she always brought something special to the role. Her work continues to inspire artists all over the world. This is the story of a movie star who will always be remembered for her greatness. During her early years, she attended a finishing school in Providence, Rhode Island, before convincing her parents to let her switch to a girls' prep school in Manhattan known for its drama program. This change was pivotal in nurturing her interest in acting. In the summers, she participated in an acting camp in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, where she found guidance under Charlotte Perry, eventually leading her to enroll at the Yale School of Drama briefly. Her love for acting was sparked during her youth. As a child, she watched the classic movie Gone with the Wind numerous times and avidly read about legendary actresses, which fueled her passion for the craft. In the late 1980s, popular TV shows in the U.S. had less money to spend. This affected soap operas like Knott's Landing. One character, Lillamy Clements, had to leave because of this. Fans were sad to see her go. She was played by an actress who was known for her talent and ability to play different roles. This actress had a lot of friends in Hollywood. People like Angela Lansbury, Norman Lloyd, and Shirley MacLaine respected her work. She was in a movie called Voyage of the Damned. The movie had many famous actors like Faye Dunaway and Orson Welles. Even with all these big names, she did a great job in her role as Alice Fainchild. Despite facing challenges like budget cuts, she kept showing how talented she was. She made a big impact in the entertainment world. Directed by Tony Abate Marco in Lucifer's Child on Broadway, she received a Tony Award nomination. Playing Lillamy Clements in Knott's Landing, she portrayed a character younger than co-stars Joan Van Ark and Ted Shackelford. In this role, she captured audiences with her depth and versatility, creating a special place for herself in the hearts of viewers. Her portrayal brought Lillamy to life, making her a beloved character in TV. Alongside her acting career, she found joy in her personal life, cherishing moments with her son, Peter Alston Gurian, from her second husband, Manning Gurian. Her impact endures as a sign of her talent and dedication to her craft, inspiring future actors. This glimpse into Julie Harris's life and career reminds us of her significant role in entertainment, leaving a lasting impression on stage and screen alike. A celebrated actor known for roles in notable films like Harper and Reflections in a Golden Eye achieved significant recognition throughout their career. In Harper, they portrayed Betty Fraley alongside stars like Paul Newman and Lauren Buckhall, gaining attention despite not having top billing. In Reflections in a Golden Eye, their performance as Allison Langdon showcased their versatility. Their talent was further acknowledged when they received the 2005 Kennedy Center Honors, joining esteemed recipients like Robert Redford and Tina Turner. Notably, they also starred in The Member of the Wedding, adapted from a novel by Carson McCullers, displaying their range as an actor. These roles exemplify their impactful work in the film industry, solidifying their place as a respected figure in cinematic history. In the original take of the roof scene in East of Eden, James Dean crawled through the window into Julie Harris's bedroom where he crouches beside her while she sleeps, fondling her slipper like a fetishist. That part was cut from the film, as was another highly eroticized scene between the two brothers in their room. The music heard under the carnival scene in which James Dean and Julie Harris end up on the Ferris wheel together features the same calliope version of Ain't She Sweet used in the merry-go-round sequence in Alfred Hitchcock's classic film Strangers on a Train. East of Eden offers a striking example of the actor studio's method, which had reached its zenith around the time of this release with many of its actors and its director living proponents of the style. 
This explains the overall quality that often pervades the film, with frequent interrupting sketchily memorized dialogue and extreme physical responses when actors are entering or exiting scenes. This is particularly evident when Julie Harris shares the screen, as she was one of few stage actors during that time who eschewed the method, choosing to rely on her own instincts instead. Starting at a young age, she began her journey in the entertainment industry. Even as a teenager, she showed incredible talent, interviewing future co-stars and making significant recommendations. Throughout her career, she shared the stage and screen with legendary actors, earning accolades and awards along the way. Her achievements, including six Tony Awards, inspire aspiring artists to follow their dreams with passion and dedication. Her story shines a light on the possibilities within the world of entertainment, showing that with hard work and talent, anything is possible. Acting was her passion from the start, declaring to her high school drama teacher, acting is my life. Director Harold Clerman echoed this sentiment, describing her as totally designed to be a good instrument on the stage. Julie Harris landed the role of Lillamy Clements in Knott's Landing, thanks to her friend Joan Van Ark's support. Initially a recurring character, Lillamy became a series regular in season 4. At 24, she left a lasting impression on stage as 12-year-old Frankie Adams in Carson McCullers' adaptation of The Member of the Wedding. She later reprised the role in the 1952 screen version of the same title. In her impressive career in entertainment, she almost achieved EGOT status, winning three Emmy Awards and a Grammy. She won Emmys in different years, showing her consistent talent, while the Grammy was for Best Spoken Word Performance, proving her many skills. Even when facing health problems, she didn't give up acting. These awards, along with her Tony Awards, show how much she influenced the entertainment world. In a captivating tale of theatrical excellence and community support, a renowned actress and her colleagues shone brightly during a memorable event in New York City. Recognized for her remarkable achievements, she received numerous accolades, including six Tony Awards for her outstanding performances on stage. The premiere of a cherished film marked a significant moment, not only for the movie itself, but also for the noble because it supported. With a star-studded lineup of celebrity ushers and captivating post-screening entertainment, the event left an indelible mark on the hearts of attendees, reflecting the unwavering support of the entertainment community. Truly a night to remember, filled with glamour, talent, and generosity. In a notable performance alongside esteemed actors like Elizabeth Taylor and Marlon Brando, Julie Harris played the role of Alison Langdon in a movie. Directed by Elia Kazan, the experience on the set of East of Eden was described as both enjoyable and invigorating by Julie. Her upbringing was influenced by her parents William Pickett Harris Jr., who worked as an investment banker, and L.C.L. Smith, a nurse. Julie found inspiration from her family background and the talented individuals she worked with in the industry. In 1994, a renowned artist received the American National Medal of the Arts in Washington, D.C., highlighting her significant role in the art scene. During the filming of a memorable movie, one particular scene left a lasting impression on the cast. In a touching moment, a character bid farewell to a fellow actor on the final day of shooting, evoking tears and emotions. Another scene brought its own challenges when an actor had to endure a stage blow from a co-star's character. The intensity of the moment stirred genuine emotions, leading the actor to seek solace from a compassionate colleague. These instances reflect the camaraderie and support among the cast during the production of the movie. Their interactions behind the scenes added depth to the on-screen performances. Julie Harris holds the record for the most Tony Award nominations and wins for acting. She earned 10 nominations and won five times. Her wins include Best Actress for I Am a Camera, The Lark, 40 Carats, and The Last of Mistress Lincoln, as well as Best Actress for The Belle of Amherst. She also received nominations for various roles in plays and musicals. Before her successful career, she studied at the New York Drama School and was one of the first members of Lee Strasberg's Actors Studio. In 2002, she received a special Tony Award for Lifetime Achievement. Throughout her career, she faced health issues in 2001 and 2010, dealing with two strokes. She became well known for playing Lillamy Clements on Knott's Landing in 1979. In the movie East of Eden, she acted as Abra and found James Dean a great co-star. They worked together creatively, especially in his music endeavors. She often remembered their time on set fondly. In her career, she received praise for both TV and film work. In East of Eden, audiences loved her character Abra, showing how versatile she was. She was loved not just for her talent, but also for her warm personality, making her popular among colleagues and fans. 
On Knott's Landing, she brought Little Me to life with grace. People who worked with her admired her dedication and love for storytelling. She had a special way of connecting with audiences emotionally, whether on stage or on screen. Her impact on entertainment will be remembered for a long time, inspiring new generations of performers. Her journey, filled with successes and struggles, shows the power of passion and hard work. Her story reminds us of the strength of the human spirit and the importance of genuine artistic expression. She continues to be a symbol of excellence and innovation in entertainment, and her work still connects with audiences today. In a classic film from the past, there was a situation where an actor, upon discovering a fellow actor's role, questioned whether they were suitable for it, causing the actor some distress. The actor's method of acting led to discomfort in certain scenes, such as refusing to do a particular action until a sequence was completed and declining to perform with another actor in a specific setting. The director praised the actor's presence on set, saying they helped calm the other actor and complimenting their skills both as an actor and as a person as mentioned in the director's autobiography. From a small town near Detroit, a talented actress emerged, honing her craft alongside influential mentors and friends. In a notable film, she starred alongside acclaimed actors, earning recognition for her skills. Her performances captivated audiences, leaving a lasting impression on the entertainment world. Her journey from a suburban upbringing to Hollywood success highlights her dedication and natural talent. This tribute celebrates her achievements and the inspiration she continues to provide for actors and fans alike. Her impact on cinema remains significant and is remembered with admiration. In 2007, when the theater company constructed a new venue in Wellfleet, Massachusetts, the celebrated individual declined to have it named after them. However, they agreed to have a part of it dedicated to their honor, leading to the stage being named after them. They graduated from Gross Point Country Day School, a private institution in Michigan, in 1944. After graduating, they embarked on a journey that would secure their place in theatrical history. Their talent shone brightly on the silver screen, earning them an Oscar nomination for their debut film role in The Member of the Wedding in 1952. It was a pivotal moment, propelling them into the spotlight and showcasing their acting skills to the world. Their performance deeply resonated with audiences and critics alike, leaving a lasting impression on cinema history. Their contributions to the world of entertainment extended far beyond the stage and screen. They blazed a trail for future generations of actors and actresses to follow, inspiring all who had the privilege of witnessing their work. Through their remarkable talent and lasting legacy, they left a lasting impression on the world of entertainment that will continue to be celebrated for generations to come. Their name will forever be associated with brilliance and artistry, a testament to the influence they had on the world stage. In a classic film, a character faced initial opposition due to age, but impressed the director with a memorable performance. Praising the character's qualities, the director considered them one of the most memorable individuals he had known. The character's blend of purity and awareness played a crucial role in guiding another actor through the movie. Acknowledging the talent and presence, the director emphasized the significant contribution to the movie, highlighting their influence on the overall production. The character's complexity added depth to the narrative, captivating audiences with a nuanced portrayal. The ability to convey a wide range of emotions drew viewers into the story, making the performance unforgettable. The chemistry with other actors, particularly one, elevated the film to a new level of excellence. Indeed, the character remains a standout in the annals of film history, showcasing the talent and dedication of an actor whose influence transcends generations. A talented actress, Julie Harris was well known for her performances on stage and screen. But behind the scenes, she struggled with a hidden battle against alcoholism. Despite her success, she faced personal demons that few knew about. This reminds us that famous people have their own struggles, even though we may only see their success. Julie Harris's story teaches us about human resilience and the challenges people face beyond what we see in the spotlight. Did you know there's a performer who got nominated for the most Tony Awards ever? This talented person got nominated 10 times during their long career. They faced personal struggles like fighting alcohol addiction, but they kept wowing audiences on stage and screen. Despite their challenges, this artist showed strong determination, becoming a role model for many in showbiz. They could make people feel deeply through their roles, connecting with audiences in a special way. As a pioneering actor, she broke barriers and inspired others in the industry. Her influence goes beyond awards, inspiring new talents and setting high standards. Her story shows the tough side of fame, 
Behind the Glitz, there's a story of personal battles and triumphs, especially in overcoming addiction. Today, this performer's story still inspires many. Her ability to breathe life into characters, along with her bravery in facing personal struggles, leaves a lasting impression on entertainment. Celebrating this remarkable individual reminds us that success often comes with challenges. Overcoming these challenges shows true greatness. This inspiring story shows the strength of the human spirit in the face of adversity. In the world of entertainment, there are often hidden stories behind the glitz and glamour. One such story revolves around a seasoned actress who faced personal challenges amidst her professional success. Throughout her life, she battled alcoholism and navigated through turbulent times. Despite achieving success in her career, this actress struggled privately, adding depth to her life story. Behind the scenes, she fought inner demons that overshadowed her achievements on stage and screen. This lesser known aspect of her life reminds us of the human side of celebrated figures in the entertainment industry. It highlights the vulnerability that exists behind the public image of stars, showing that personal struggles can coexist with professional triumphs. In conclusion, the journey of this actress, marked by both triumphs and hardships, is a testament to resilience and the complexities of life. Her story serves as a reminder that success does not shield individuals from personal trials.